Hi everybody and welcome to the next First to Last. Today we're going to be talking about integrity. So what is integrity? Integrity. Ooh. Um, um, it's like being... Oh, this is a tricky one. Um, See, now I'm trying to think of the, 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 the dictionary definition of integrity. Um... Integrity is. Uh, it, it's like being really, really sort of honest with yourself. Um, high morals, sort of thing. So moral accept, being acceptable with everybody. Somebody holds themselves to what they stand for. Um, the morals come into it. I don't know. For me, it's feeling like you're doing good and you know that you are always doing the best that you can so you can have integrity in like your work ethic because you know that you're doing the best. I think we all have slightly different in integrity. Um, but yeah, generally I think through society we have the same definition of it. Loyalty, kindness, love, um, honesty, all wrapped up into one. So all the good qualities that we want in a person are all wrapped up into integrity. What other words come into mind when you hear the word integrity? Can you give me some synonyms for integrity? Honesty, trustworthy, dependable, righteous, honor, fairness, nobility, sincerity. I have found three definitions in the dictionary. The first being the condition of quality of being complete, undivided or unbroken, wholeness. The second one, an unimpaired condition. The third, moral soundness or uprighteousness. By reading the dictionary definitions, it helps a little, but only a little. What's the difference between integrity and character? Character is a matter of doing right, again and again, till it becomes a part of your life. As children, we are taught character, how to treat others, how to be respectful to adults. Um, you learn diligence, patience, and a good work ethic. When we learn all of these and then do it without thinking about it, that's displaying good character. Character, somebody said, is doing right by habit. It's simply doing the right thing automatically you can train character into a person. Integrity, on the other hand, is so much more than that. It's being the same on the outside as it is on the inside. There's no divide or discrepancy between the outside and the inside. When I read this, it reminded me of a Bible verse where Jesus said, You have heard that it is said, You shall not commit adultery, but I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Jesus makes it clear that adultery does not just, is not just limited to the physical act, but it also has to do with the inside and your thoughts. Integrity is a matter of the heart, so you can almost say it is the character of the heart. The Old Testament meaning of integrity has to do with a stone found in the priest's breastplate. And it has the idea of the gem being complete without defect the story is being told of a man who went to a jeweler he wanted to buy his wife a diamond ring to show her his love and appreciation he did not have a huge amount of money to spend the jeweler showed him the size of the diamond he could afford but said the jeweler he also has a bigger diamond with a small flaw in it for the same price the ring would be considerably bigger and the best part is that the flaw is not even visible to the naked eye. The man replied, The diamond represents the love I have for my wife, and although nobody will be able to see the flaw, the problem is that I'll know. Several years ago, a young priest, fresh out of seminar, seminar was assigned as a pastor to a small parish in a small town. Some weeks after he arrived, he had an occasional ride to the local bus, or on the local bus, from the rectory, to the downtown area. When he sat down, he discovered that the driver had occasionally given him a quarter, too much change. As he considered what to do, he thought to himself, you better give the quarter back. It would 
be wrong to keep it. Then he thought, oh, forget it. It's only a quarter. Who would worry about a quarter? The bus company gets too much fare anyway. They'll never miss it. Accept it as a gift from God and keep quiet. When, when his stop came, he paused momentarily at the door. And then he handed the quarter to the driver and said, Yeah, you gave me too much change. The driver with a smile replied, Aren't you the new pastor in town? Yes, he replied. Well, I've been thinking a lot lately about returning to church. I just wanted to see what you would do if I gave you too much change. I'll see you at church on Sunday. <laughs> when the young priest stepped off the, the bus, he literally grabbed the nearest light pole, held onto it, and said, Oh my God, I almost sold Jesus for 25 cents. <laughs> a man of integrity tells the truth, period. He tells the truth when he's under oath, and he tells the truth when he's not under oath. That's what Jesus was talking about when he said, But let your yes be your yes, and your no be your no. When we find that our walk is not matching our talk, Jesus' probing question should be in our minds that says, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? Otherwise, it's easy to fall in the trap of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is the opposite of integrity. Matthew 23, 27 says, Woe to you, teachers of the laws and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of dead men's bones and everything unclean. In the same way, on the outside you appear to people as righteous, but on the inside you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. Where will integrity be shown or tested? Trials, Psalms 15, verse 4. He that swears to his own hurt and does not change. When things get difficult, do you keep your word? We think that when things get tough, the rules change and commitments may be discarded. Mistakes, do you own up to your mistakes? Or do you come up with excuses or blame someone, something or someone else? Let me ask you a question. What would you do if you knew that nobody would ever find out? If you knew you would never be caught, what would you do? Which is stronger in your heart right now, greed or integrity? Would you steal if you knew no one would find out? Which is stronger in your heart, lust or integrity? What would you look at if you knew that no one would find out? Where would you go if you knew that no one would find out? Integrity says... I can't do this because I can't live with myself if I do. That is integrity of the heart. Do you remember the story of Joseph? His brothers sold him into slavery and he ended up in Potiphar's house in Egypt. And when Potiphar's wife tried to seduce him, he said, how can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? His primary concern was not whether Potiphar would find out, but his primary concern was whether God would know and whether God would find out. Martin Luther said, if I knew the world would go to pieces tomorrow, I would still plant my apple tree and pay my debts. If no bill collector was coming after you, would you pay your bills? Do you work an eight hour day for eight hours of pay? Do you work as hard when your boss is watching as when he is not? A man of integrity knows that the one he gives account to is God. So then each of us shall give account of himself to God. Integrity is a choice. It's something we need to practice uh, and it will develop over time. It's not easy, but with God's spirit and an accountability partner, we can do it. How can a person hold on to integrity? Only by keeping it in his heart. If integrity is not in your heart, your mind will start to rationalize. If integrity is only in your hands, somebody will buy it from you. If integrity is only in your mind, somebody will talk you out of it. But if integrity is in your heart, with God's help, you can keep it no matter what. Does anybody know what the only man-made structure is that you can see from the space shuttle? It's the Great Wall of China. 
The wall took the ancient Chinese years and years to build, and it was to keep the barbarians out. It covers hundreds and hundreds of miles. It's too thick to break through, it's too long to go around, and it's too high to go over. But did you know within the first hundred years of it being finished, China was invaded three times? They didn't go over the wall, they didn't go around the wall, they didn't go through the wall. All three times they bribed the gatekeeper and walked right in. Whatever a man builds, whether it be a business, a nation or an empire, if he doesn't build and practice and maintain integrity, he has failed at life. Last <laughs> word, integrity. 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 Hiccuprint. Where will integrity be shown? Shown? Yes, I'm right. Have confidence. Have confidence. <laughs> <laughs> baddies out. Stay out, baddies. It had a sign. <laughs> No boys allowed. <laughs> <laughs>